Residents have been warned to brace themselves for a weekend without or with very little water supply. Randwater notified the city that its Mapleton a booster station experienced a power supply failure. The incident has affected the Flockfontein Reservoir that supplies parts of the city. The cause of the power failure is being investigated by technicians. Reporter Kat Fekho has more. Kat, good to catch up with you this afternoon. Uh, speaking about Swanee a week ago, it was power challenges. Now it's water. Absolutely, Hugo. A very good afternoon. We are here in the Twane area, just along the N4 highway. And uh, as you can see, the truck driving past me, we are exactly in the spot where on Monday earlier this week, electricity pylons fell and this plunged the city or many parts of the city into darkness. Now, as I just want to show you what's happening behind me, uh, Hugo, a lot of engineers hard at work in restoring power in the area or ex uh, restoring the pylons. We know that uh, the investigations are underway to actually understand how this incident took place. And as well, uh, we, what we know is that the pylons may have fell, but the main reason which is being cited by the city is that the vandalism may have been the biggest reason as to why the pylons fell and uh, because the, the city is saying pylons cannot just fall on their own as they are technically quite secure all the time. But throughout the day, Hugo, we've been reflecting on the water issues in Tswane. And uh, we saw that statement coming from the city of Tswane earlier on today or earlier on um, yesterday evening really outlining that Rand Water is having power issues and this is a, as a result affecting its ability to supply water to residents. So water and electricity connected, but I want to bring into the conversation here Hugo MMC for Utilities in Tswane, that's Mr. Temba Fossi, just to uh, speak to us about the details and clarify some of the uh, confusion between the link uh, between electricity and water and the issues plaguing the city of Tswane. Uh, Mr. Fossi, thank you so much for speaking to us. Um, th th you know what, we see here the, the engineers are hard at work. We saw the pylons, the incident happen on Monday. What's been happening since Monday and how are the investigations looking into what actually happened here? Okay, the progress is going very speedily. I must say that um, quite a number of pylons have been installed. Um, as you can see from the back, there's about 10 already that have been installed and by Monday we'll be stringing and making sure that um, we are, we're bringing our people back online. And so far as the issue of water, it's the, it lies with um, rainwater. Um, we had confirmation from Sipotaba, the general manager of um, uh, rainwater, to confirm that they have a technical issue um, as a result of um, theft of cable um, to their pumps. Right. That's the reason that we're currently having an issue with our reservoirs not getting filled up. Right. So is there a direct link between the pylons that have fallen here on Monday and the water issues that we heard about from the city? Uh, well, we've been hearing about them, but the statement issued last night that uh, it's really severe now. Is this all linked? Um, partly, I could say partly, because on Monday when we had this massive outage, it did have a, a knock-on effect on our reservoirs. Um, however, um, the areas were backfed and people came on. Not necessarily everybody's up, but um, the reservoirs were up. Unfortunately, in this instance, um, it is the issue with rainwater, which they have confirmed that they had an issue of um, cable that they are currently sorting it out. Um, um, the assumption is by tonight um, they should be up and then eventually pumping water mm -hmm. but now it takes a little bit of time for water pressure to build up up until the reservoirs are filled up right. so that's that's how far we are now right so so what's your message to residents during this time obviously they're struggling both water and electricity this is quite a crisis in the city look it is a crisis I must say um, water is a source of life you can imagine not having water for several days, but I can, the, the least I can ask the residents is to bear with us as um, we get them updates from um, rainwater time and time and again. We've got hourly updates where we feed to our councillors and eventually to our residents. Mm -hmm. We would request our residents to um, have a little bit of patience and allow um, the technical um, staff to be able to 
work as soon as they are up uh, we will advise and they need to also use water sparingly because mm -hmm. if we uh, people start stocking up water it will eventually deplete mm -hmm. for now i would ask residents to use water sparingly and for those only important needs mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Fossey. Uh, as you heard there, Hugo, MMC for Utilities in Swane, Mr. Temba Fossey, just outlining the connection uh, between the pylons falling here as well as the water issues that are plaguing the capital, uh, obviously saying really encouraging residents to use water sparingly. And it is a tough time for the residents of Swane being hit on both ends, water and electricity. But the city really saying it is uh, work is underway to fix this problem. Kalakosa Khota, appreciate your time at this afternoon.